So second game of the day. Pontiac in attack, Lamaland in defense. Lo yeah, there's something interesting going on here. Look at the amount of Berserkers on Lamaland's side. I'm just amazed to see this. They're bringing stalwarts, Berserkers, Armigers. That seems to be their game plan. I like one thing. Berserkers, almost as fast as horses, and they have picked on the Berserkers and horses. Will they open the gate and rush out? Still here. might do it. Lu Luan Luancur is still standing at the gate. He's, he's ready there. So they are definitely scouting ahead this time. Uh, yeah. Actually, they might have used the Scorpios to see what they were, were doing as well, right? You they could. Uh, another thing is that you can uh, look at um, the, 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 the attacking side, can see the uh, in the intro, uh, like cinematic, you can see, right? But they are rushing. Right. What are they doing? Look at the left side. And they're opening the gate. They're rushing out. Yeah, they are rushing to plus. They are going to capture here, coming in with all the berserkers to their point, as well as horses. And they are rushing out. And this is very interesting fight right now because they are going for the supply. Pikes are going to defend here very well. Even Pike Militia is quite heavily, quite heavily damaged the berserkers. And it seems like this is very interesting tactic. We have not seen it earlier. Pontgard wasn't really ready. They were not defending the gate, and this is going to be a quite problematic. A fight for them. Berserkers pounding on the left, on the right, killing pretty much everyone uh, on the front line. Pondgar trying to get back with their units, not to lose too much. They are going to defend the plus point. It is blocked by attackers. They cannot kill or take new units. And if Lamaland will be able to take both plus points, they will be able to capture pretty much the game, win the game right like that. Trebuchet's flying in. This is something they should expect with such an aggressive fight. Not sure if they were watching because many units died to the trebuchet and they are going to capture the plus. Yeah, or still almost. Equal. Both teams only lost two uh, heroes right now, but you can see that um, Team Lamaland has killed so much more. They have killed 365 units and Pondgard only 70 right now. But the traps might do a lot of work here, but they're delaying so much time. No siege towers are being pushed. And I wonder if Pondgard is going to try and get into the city and capture some points. Yeah, uh, I mean they have to come up with something and something very fast. Yes, they were managed. They were they managed to save this plus point, almost got captured. So they will be able to take units from here shortly. And it seems like they are respawning all the players who died respawning on this flank to try to fight for this plus. This is very good idea, and I would do the same. Why? Because look at here, Lamaland is controlling all this side of map. There is nothing going to happen for Pondgard. In the meantime, one of the person, one uh, dealer for life, it was who tried to capture A. He managed to do a little bit of that, but B is being defended. A is being defended right now. No more uh, back capping right now is going to happen for a front guard. Lamaland going to fight here in the middle. The horses lost. I don't like this what they are doing right now. They are overextended. Nice. How quick? Uh, Pond guard can actually start to push in because there is a siege star on the left side that already hit the walls, which means they can start pushing for the B point. As it looks like Lamaland is totally going to abandon uh, A completely. And if we look at the kills right now, um, it's actually Lamaland that lost more this time. If you look at the numbers on the top, looks like it. But because of the Berserkers and the Armigers, that number is deceiving you because uh, Pondgard lost 136. Uh, sorry, they killed 136 units and Lamaland killed 453. They, we know they like to play with their units with the units that are very heavy in numbers so uh, pike militia the mesne pikemans right and units like that who have like 30 40 people in squad and this bump this number quite a lot but uh, yeah like it seems like they are going to put a pressure on the back point as well as the front point so of course right now trebuchets are going to fly in probably very soon to try to block the um, the defenders from coming back here but they are going to definitely overcome with over 10 people advancing here or going to just take down these three defenders quite quickly and i would like to see uh, lamland actually sending one player to the left supply just to get at least one supply back in, in the time but they don't have the time right now yeah very interesting thing uh, what's right now from lamaland perspective a big advantage is the trebuchets are useless Pondgard cannot use any trebuchet against anything at all when looking at the defense side defenders very nicely placing themselves here in this corner but not defensively aggressively in front line heavy on the shields and the counter push is going to start going to happen left, left flank is going forward a little bit pike advance is moving forward but it's not that effective so we'll see where it goes when comparison pond is pushing Zikalia Mission are doing so much in the Namkas as well on top of the walls. Uh, 
but it's, let's take a close look. I think Pond Guard is winning on the right side, but Flamela is pushing harder in on the left side. But of course, Pond Guard is having the supplies. Oh no, they don't. They're recapping their uh, supply. Yeah. So they are going to be successful in this uh, in this push on the cap point. Pond Guard right now winning, but uh, Lamaland has taken the stage plus, and let's see if they will be successful with the re attack. 13 people alive for Pondgard, only 10 people alive for Lamaland, but all of these people are back there in the spawn point. So as you can see from this camera angle, Pondgard full control of the plus point, blocking the cap, uh, blocking the entrance from the base with trebuchets, with shields. They don't have that many units left, so if Lamaland will be able to come here in time with what we, they are doing right now, they can still recapture this point. If they don't do too much, die too much, this can be uh, quite fatal for Pondgard in the long run. Yeah, absolutely. But look at Lamaland, they have nine players uh, right now that are alive. But um, actually, like, if we look at the hero kills, I think uh, uh, Pondgard's actually out with a couple of uh, uh, heroes there as well. Uh, yeah, it's critical who's out already. Anytime soon, either. And the same thing is going to happen again. Pondgard trying to play, get the plus point and uh, Lamaland preparing their defenses in similar fashion because Pondgard already captured about 60-65% of the cap point Pondgard pushing is coming in let's watch it from this balcony over here we can see a lot of pike militia a lot of grey and, uh, and green units not that strong uh, from the other end Lamaland a lot of shields so they are going to stay here for quite long time Probably use the Namkans and units from the top to put the damage in. We can see advance of the pikes coming in from the left side. We can see Forte Brachos on the left side. Some cavalry is charging in. Not that effective, unfortunately. But Pondgard losing most of their units right now. Bringing pike militia to the front line against so many shields is not going to work for you in the long run. And we can see it right now. Travis is flying in. Not that effective, as said. Lamaland very well aware of the trebuchet, where they can go, where they cannot, they play it very well. And uh, right now it's a little bit of that much from Pondgard's perspective. They don't have any more units left, pretty much no units at all here on the point. Wherever I'm looking, yeah, a few Sons of Fenrir here, but that's all. And Lamaland, they were successful in their defense. They have died, just uh, like one or two people died from Lamaland, but a lot of people from Pondgard died. And if we look at the units, I wonder what... Um, units both teams are going to bring because I don't think they have much left here. It looks like Pondgard is ahead by quite a bit, but they may still only have like Pike Militia, Lansknecht, and Sons, Sons of Fenrir, and then the Messner Pikemen, and Tenant Farmers, and stuff like this. Where it looks like Lamaland still does have uh, quite a few. Yeah, quite a few core pollution. Oni Yaksha, Maximus, and Critical. Three deaths, they are not going to come. So, Pondgard playing with 12 till the end, five minutes left. And uh, Lamaland on the other end, they have uh, 14. yeah, 14. Cabanas died three times, took a decision on where to go, but they have to go. Three minutes left, and the last push is coming in. Let's take a look. They are going to attack the corner over here. They are going to put a lot of pressure on this corner, kill the remaining units, and try to clear their back. They are going to make this happen with Maurs. Yes, all the back is covered all the back is cleared the corner is clear and right now only one front line is happening right now lamaland with a lot of purple blue units pushing aggressively and counter-attacking pond guard pond guard very widely spread they have a lot of numbers yes but the numbers we'll see if they will win for now looks like they are going forward and this is looking quite okay for pond guard yeah, or is it? But because uh, Lamaland still have two uh, Star Wars units, so they are cl cleaning up uh, all these units as the traps fly in, but they don't have the range. Uh, they, they are just defending too close to the wall and the traps cannot hit. So Lamaland, look at the Star Wars. They're just cleaning up, and I wonder who Star Wars those are, because the numbers got to look amazing. Right, so they are playing with 14 till the end. Pretty much everyone on two devs utilize their life to maximum. Units left. 30 units, they utilize their units to maximum. So basically they maximize their resources till the end. Let's jump into the post battle analysis. Yeah, amazingly well done. So maybe they will do something crazy again. I wonder. I'm Alant right now attacking. And uh, yes, they have changed a little bit um, their setup as well again, but they have much more medium armor. They have five muskets right now. 
here on attack side six even. Oh my god. Okay, so this is yeah, interesting again. Uh, we can see the Kali militia and a lot of javelins on this time on uh, the Lamaland side. But uh, for uh, Pond Guard, we're seeing pretty much the same setup, but this time more berserkers in general. Seems like the towers are going to reach the target, and we'll see what Lamaland has prepared. We can... yeah, okay, Lamaland, yes. Lamaland prepared for this as well that uh, Pond Guard wouldn't have any range because setting up on this right tower, the muskets are very good. Look at them, how they are throwing in their bombs, they're throwing in their shots. Um, because they do have the high ground, high ground right here, and they are not having any plan, it seems like, to rotate to B-point, because they won't be able to do this, except if they go to the right side to the supply. Will they do this? I wonder. We'll see. Right now the push is coming in. This is different from every other team that was pushing to the middle tower. Uh, they're going to put a pressure kill on the supply point, most probably with some of the units, but most of the units are still standing here, trying to cap it look at wow look at this shield work the shield war on the front capturing any bullets and javelin throws anything coming in from the um, area of eight point and then this wall of shields coming in defending the yeah and they're throwing in the Kali militia on eight point uh, they are doing so much fire damage right now if those Kali militia get off two three four throws and uh, together with those uh, javelins a unit is going to get wiped mm -hmm. a lot of a lot of fire and uh, this is very good protection uh, very well thought through attack in my opinion not overextending not pushing you know they are dictating the tempo they can do whatever they want they have the trebuchets mm -hmm. if something would happen trebuchets and you are safe right if something worse would happen you can still rotate back to the tower which is very nearby so they have full control on their end and ghost here seems like he yeah, was pushed they are, down they are trying to push in on the a point and remember they have a lot of range so some of their range might not have any supplies left but they're trying to push in and we take the pond guard coming in from the left side yes and this is very well mm, played from uh, lama land considering that they cleared and pushed out a lot of the units out of the a point they made the space for them and right now they are pushing pond guard of course not giving free um, free capture point here they are pushing in from both stairs right now counter attacking uh, attacking imperial fights coming with advance uh, double even over here on these stairs um for falcon for the branches are coming in uh, going to try to put some pressure as well but uh, lamaland still holding quite nicely with yeah, such a look at the right side please because there's javelins there and luan luan kerr with the uh, with the musket and there was some other javelins there as well it looks like pond guard is having the, uh, the the flank on both sides but it's actually lamaland that might have the flank because of those range units as yeah. they start to win the a point they're flanking the flanks back. flanking the flanks and uh, out damage them right and again very heavy usage of the shields we have seen just a couple of uh, five units here majority of the units that are pushing here were stalwarts or or other kinds of shields right so bringing very heavy defensive units with a lot of armor a lot of health they are going to take b point as well for free this is a good time to take a look at stats yeah absolutely look at this only two deaths on lamaland and seven deaths on uh, on pond guard side so nothing major yet but you can see lamaland has been winning a uh, big time on the back point so they are going to reply what pond guard did and this is good what pond guard is doing seems like they were learning from the mistakes they have unfortunately it's only namkan so they are not that effective but they cannot be done anything to them here on the spawn point they are shooting at the attackers from the point from the back and from the side um, but yeah, Pond Guard, late with the rotations, they are going to lose the plus point, uh, or at least not being able to use it. Lamaland very well playing with shields one more time. So, Trebuchet's playing in as well. It seems we are in a bit of stalemate. Yeah, they still have 12 trebuchets left, so they can really start using them. I wonder if they can. Yeah, the trebuchets here are very limited where they can fly in. Uh, we'll see if they will be able to hit here. Some will, but will all of them be able? Berserkers coming in from the back. I wonder if they might do a flank. Uh, yeah, but one Berserker unit versus so many stacked units uh, might be a problematic thing. Um, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, Forte branches and they are very well played. Uh, covering each other from sides. Imperial Arkebuzers here from back Look shooting. At Look at the camp. Brave Hakan is on the final actually with Armigers. He's just waiting. Yeah, and if they will be able to close it uh, with the trebuchet as well. 11 versus 14, unfortunately, so the um, more more players alive for the defenders for Pond Guard. But yeah, 30 or 40% of cap just like that for three captured kill. 
and uh, see Yost coming in with berserkers as well so they're starting to ring in their quick units and if they manage to kill off Pondegard fast enough they're also capturing the supply they're winning out the supply as well because Pondegard had to rush to the final camp yeah and go very well uh, along with sexy kebab able to kill two players and with help of uh, berserkers as well uh, another player dead so they are killing one by one only eight people seven people alive from Pondegard this might be getting quite problematic very fast Lamaland of course most of their units dead all of their players alive uh, on the flat point but they don't have any units so uh, they are not going to bring much value in a short amount of time trebuchet not necessarily flying into block uh, and this might be a problem but three people alive only from point guard and uh, it's done it's oh done like that Two zero. what have we just watched what about the post battle analysis yeah look at this <laughs> amazing right just two pushes and the game was over gg for today yeah. to the winners gg well played let's see if the meta keeps evolving uh, next week yeah might be the changes we will see Who knows? thank you very much and see you next week bye bye see you bye bye